everybody welcome back to the lair as you can see um we're doing a code orange code orange means halloween pagan stuff witchy stuff pumpkins bats you name it this is the other side of me whilst i love my candles this is the other side of me and actually we will be doing this all through the year um after halloween um so yeah, I'll create playlists, so if you don't want to watch this stuff, you can just watch my candle stuff. Anyway, first little thing I've got, this is very, very cute, little pumpkin cup. I got this from Amazon, and it's ceramic, and I've not got any name or anything on the bottom. It's not a very deep mug. I had hoped that from the picture of it, it could be sort of used as a, a soup mug or something, but it's a tiddly bit small. But as an ornament in a cabinet or something, it's really quite cute. Um, I think it was sort of six or eight ninety nine on Amazon. I'm going to be actually um, championing a lot of small businesses, so I'm not going to buy huge amounts from places like Amazon, TK Maxx and... I will do some bits and pieces but anyway this was an Amazon purchase it's very cute so that's one of the new little things that I've got I should move on to something else this isn't exactly what you call a uh, Halloween <laughs> um, I don't know how this is going to show up on screen to be fair I'm going to I'll put it across here oh that looks good um, this is a hand-drawn picture I'll have to put a proper picture up of it for you. This is a hand-drawn picture of David Bowie. I am a bit of a David Bowie fan and freak, and I don't know which is the best way to have it so you can see anything of it. Um, let's put it in front of you there so you've got David Bowie's eyes. Um, so anyway, a um, friend of mine called Tracy, <coughs> she did this, and uh, this arrived yesterday and i would like you to check out some of her stuff because she is absolutely amazing this is on the back here i will put all the details down um, pictures of this um, but please go and check her out because if you i mean even if you wanted something so that she does other stuff not just rock and roll stars um halloweeny tattooy etc um she's an amazing artist so um please go and check her out i'm sorry this is sorry tracy um who will see this it's not a very clear picture um doing this on a mobile phone <laughs> or you can see his his hands really but anyway i'm moving out about too much i'm irritating you let's move on to the next thing i will put pictures up which you will have seen um, to cover up all the um, movement of that but please go and check her out I'll leave all her links down below and um, yeah check out something really really nice for yourself there if you like art and this is from uh, the wonky broomstick I should put all the details down below um, these are such cute Halloween masks. This one's got pumpkins all over it. Um, this one's got bats all over it. And this one's really cute. It's got um, oops, cut up. That's got witch and an owl. Another witch on it. It's really really cute. And they are all lined inside, as you can see, and. The lining you can put a filter in if you really quite in that one i don't know but these ones are just double lined which are cute that's good for the summer actually when it's hot um, and this one is better for when it's colder because you can get double lining but these are i'm pleased these arrived um and I got sent these by Kate and they're ever such lovely people at the Wonky Broomstick. They are not a new company, but they're still quite a small company down in Glastonbury in as uh, in Somerset, as the card said. 
and yeah go check them out they're they're great they are they really are um now moving on um this came from a not small company this came from the disney store this cost me 30 pounds this is um a little bit of a treat for me it's a lovely fluffy throw six uh five foot by six foot so it's quite a reasonable size and you've got zero on there on the top can you see i don't know and you've got jack's face there and sally and graveyard and lock on stock and oh it's really cute um i'm a little bit of um well, I'm a Tim Burton freak, to be fair, but I do like my Nightmare Before Christmas. And, um, yeah, I, don't, I had to get that one. You will see when we get closer to Christmas that I have Nightmare Before Christmas baubles going back many, many years. And I still collect them when they come out. So, yeah, it's so... Uh, like maybe before Christmas is a bit of an all-round thing for me, but this is nice. And as you can see, I have a throw here I got last year. This, this is so soft. I got two of them actually from Home Store Moor in Ireland. Um, and these are gorgeous. It's got pumpkins on and it's got haunted houses and things. So I like my throws. I like my cushions, as you can see. Anyway, on to the next thing. Now I had to open these up just to double check. Um, <clears throat> or open one up to double check that they weren't melting because um, these are melts. So we're back to sort of candles and melts now. And I got this lovely um, little package through from uh, Naomi at a company called poison paradise you can find those on instagram um, i'll put the links below and i opened the package up and i got a little box of orange nerds spooky ones um, and a lovely envelope that says thank you for your order hope you enjoy and inside we get i can assume these are little jellies are quite hard but I assume they're jellies is I don't know how it's going to show up actually in the plastic that's a pumpkin jelly and this one is a bat jelly and a lovely little sticker that says with a taste of poison paradise I'm addicted to you it's very cute, isn't it? Eh? Isn't it nice when a lot of these smaller companies they package things up and, and they make it a real pleasure to un unpackage. Anyway, this one, um, I'm not quite sure the smell of this. I think there's definitely a sort of patchouli. Look, there's a jack. <laughs> it's a jack melt. This is a wax melt, everybody. It's huge. Look at the size of it in my hand. It's absolutely huge. And it was £6.50, I think. But imagine how, how much you're going to get out of that. Now, I found um, Poison Paradise um, via a Halloween Facebook page because people were talking about the lack of uh, Yankee Candles, which is brew. And... Um, Naomi said she had a scent that was relatively a dupe of Witch's Brew and I believe it's on the Jack Skellington melt. It does, I mean, it's not going to be exactly the same, um, but it's, it smells like it's going to be quite similar. Now, while I was on that, I've got so much to melt and burn and everything that I got another little thing, but I didn't go too mad because I, otherwise I'm never going to get reviews out for you. Oh, sorry about the noise. 
and this is blueberry pie or blueberry cake or something and this is so cute can you see this i don't know if you can see the detail on this these little ghost is just here can you see by my hand there little ghost and on this side it's easier to see because they're black these little bats and this again is a wax melt and it's, I think it's blueberry pie or blueberry cake or something. Um, I can smell it. That's really nice, lovely and foody. Oh, look, there's a little ghosty sticking up there. Can you see? Hello. <laughs> now, again, this was, I think, 6 50 um, But the, the size of them in my hand, that one. You're not going to use these up very quickly, especially if you cut them. You're going to get a good lot of use out of those and um, really, really well worth the money. Um, so I will obviously melt these in due course. Um, but just to go back through everything, because I actually had to, an issue with the camera, which I don't usually have, um, and we had to start videoing it halfway through again because it cut out so from poison paradise got these lovely little things here these were from the wonky broomstick this was from Amazon obviously to eclipse this <laughs> this was from the Disney store a nightmare before Christmas I'll put that there and I will put proper links and put photographs to um, Tracy's work because it's really difficult to get the whole of David Pye in like that um, but I'll, she's she's absolutely fabulous. So if you do have five minutes, go check out her um, website. And that today is, because it's so hot, that is your lot. I will be attempting to go to TK Maxx next week. Um, and I've got a few other bits and pieces. I've got some stuff from Killstar coming that I've wanted because they've currently got this weekend. So if I get this out to you, I've got to get this out to you this weekend. This weekend, Killstar have got 25% off for their birthday bash. Have a good weekend and I will be back soon with some more spooky type hauls and spooky things and some candles and wax melts. And as I said, I'll put them in playlists so you don't have to watch what you don't want to watch. Okay. Have fun, have a good weekend, take care, be safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.